What a great chapter we just read. 2 Timothy 3. So much good stuff in here. Perilous times shall come in the last days, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous. Boy, doesn't TV promote that. Hey, look at this car. Look how fast it goes. Look how shiny it is. Boasters, proud. That goes along with it, too. See my new car? Yeah, I'm proud of my car. See my new cell phone? Wow, you know, that's what we're teaching kids, you know. Hey, look at this little cool thing you got, you know. Hey, this mine's cooler than yours. Covetous. Oh, gee, I wish I had your car. I wish I had your cell phone. Boasters. Oh, I already read this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Blasphemers. That happens all the time, too. OMG. I don't even like to even just reference it that way. It's filthy. You ever seen some of the old kids' shows? And my kids watch some shows in the, the you know, early days of the particular shows. You know, they would say, oh my, oh my gosh. Well, now the writers of those shows have come to realize, hey, we can have these kids blaspheming the name of God. And I remind my children of that. And I pray for the day that God convicts them to turn the TV off. They know better. And I just let them know. Yeah, you know, Maybe you say, well, you, you should make them turn the TV off. Yeah, I should make them read the Bible, too. But I don't. But they know that their dad does, and they know that it's there. And maybe the Lord will have to take me out in order for them to get the point. Disobedient to parents. Oh, that's no big deal. Yeah, right. Uh, that's why it's in the Bible. That is a big deal. Being obedient to your parent is the first commandment with promise. Length of days and long life will be given to those who are obedient to their parents. What's the other extreme? Shortness of life. Unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Homosexuals, gays. And in the last days, I mean, it's all over the place. Truce breakers, false accusers. Somebody passes along some, some besetting sin to a brother. You know, ask for prayer. Truce breakers go out and rattle it off so that they can put themselves in a higher level than their brother. False accusers, part of the same thing. Well, I mean, that's adding to the stuff that you've learned, you know, and there's there's folks like that on YouTube and family members that do those kind of things. Incontinent. I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> you tell me what that means. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. We see this kind of stuff happening all the time, and people are just at each other's throats more and more these days. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Sorry, can't come to church today. Got to take the kids to a football game. They're involved in a football game. I mean, hey, that's that's not a problem if you're if you're keeping up at home, you know, reading the scriptures, staying with it. Okay, God ain't gonna judge you necessarily for that. I mean, it's not any worse than going any other day of the week. But you know, you're gonna replace the things of God with the things of pleasure. No good. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. See that all over YouTube. There's a lot of this, you know, nicey nice, you know, this, yeah, you know what it's talking about. They deny the power of that. They don't, they don't look to scriptures for help. Um, you know, some cutesy sayings or some, some cutesy songs, you know, but the power of God. What's it say in Romans 1.16? I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. The whole book is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's the power of God. And then people just ignore it. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. I used to wonder, how is that? How do they creep into houses? I mean, wouldn't they call the cops or scream or something? No, hey, the internet. Huh? Coming along with every false doctrine there is. And these people seem to think that they're ever learning, but they're never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Why is that? Because 
They deny the power, the true power, which is the Word of God. Look on our channel page. See how many channel, I mean, how many video views we have in total. Less than 300,000. That's more than two years' worth. Why, every time you sign into YouTube, you see stupid, idiotic nonsense that gets more views in one day than our channels received with, with nearly 4,000 videos. We have nearly 4,000 videos on this channel now. Yet there's only under, there's under 300,000 views in total. It's a sad day we live. Well, anyways, we're going to be reading the very last chapter Paul ever wrote. Second Timothy 4 is coming up.